Jerry World. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, Sweet Jerry World. So today we'll learn about our environment from elementary science of class five, and this is chapter one. Okay, let's get started. Relationship between living and non-living things. All the things in the environment can be classified into living things and non-living things. People, animals and plants are living things. Soil, water, air, cars, chairs, etc. are non-living things. Okay, let's see. Relationship between living and non-living things. You can see the cow is a living things and the water is non-living things and the cow is drinking the water okay let's go to the summary summary human human depend on non-living things they need air to breathe water to drink and food to get nutrition for survival they also use soil for growing crops and land to build their shelter. However, human needs shelter, furniture, clothes, appliances, etc. to live. Okay, you can see human depend on non-living things in their life. There is a picture. Okay. Other animals. Other animals also depend on non-living things for survival. Animals need air, water, and food to live. They use soil and water as habitat. Some animals like insects or earthworms live in soil. Some such as fish or prawn live in water. You can see animals in water and animals in soil. Plants. Plants depend on non-living things to survive in their environment. Plants use sunlight, water, and carbon dioxide from the air to make their own food. Plants such as water lily and water hyacinth also use water as habitat. Living things depend on non-living things for survival in their in the environment all living and non-living things that exist that interact in one place is called an ecosystem so here we learn human animals and plants all living things are depends on non-living things for survival in the environment and this complex relationship between all the living and non-living things is called ecosystem. Okay, let's go next page. Two, mutual dependence between plants and animals. Okay, let's go to the summary. Yes, summary. The plants and animals depend on each other in the environment. Animals. Animals depend on plants in many ways animals use the oxygen given off by plants in, in animals eat various parts of plants such as stems leaves fruits to get energy plants are also used as shelter by the animals several animals like monkey squirrel and insects use plants for their shelters birds make their nests on trees human beings also use plants to make their houses okay let's go to plants 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 depend on animals for growth making food pollination and seed dispersal pollination means transfer of pollen from one flower to another flower so that plants can make seeds okay plants use the carbon dioxide given off by animals to make food plants depend on 
animals for nutrients too. When animals die, the dead remains become fertilizers in the soil. Plants use the fertilizers as nutrition to grow. Through pollination, plants make seeds. New plants grow from these seeds. Animals such as birds, bees help plants in their pollination. Seed dispersal means the transport of seeds away from the parent plant. Seed dispersal helps plants to create new colonies. Like this, plants and animals depend on each other in the environment. Here we learn, plants and animals depend on on each other for survival. Animals depend on plants for oxygen, shelter, food, medicine, etc. Plants depend on animals for making food, pollination, seed dispersal, and nutrients. Okay, let's go to the next piece. Energy flow. Living things need energy for survival. Plants get energy from the sun. Animals get energy from food. Okay. Summary. Food chain. All animals directly or indirectly depend on plants for their energy. A plant produces its own food using the energy of the sunlight. An insect eats the plant and a frog eats the insect. In the same process, the frog is eaten by a snake and then the snake is eaten by an eagle. E eaten by an eagle. Like this, energy is passed from plants to animals. The path of food energy in an ecosystem from plants to animals is called food chain. The food chain began begins with the green plants you can see grass grasshopper frog snake eagle this is the food chain okay food web food web in any ecosystem there are many food chains all the plants and animals are part of several food chains for example a hawk may eat a mouse a squirrel a frog or some other animals the snake may eat a rabbit a rat or some other animals several food chains connecting together make a food web here we learn about food chain and food web the flow of energy in an ecosystem from plants to animals is called food chain and when several food chain connected together is called food web okay so read this chapter more and more and always enjoy your learning okay If you like this video, give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Have a nice day. Bye.